following content is for educational and entertainment purposes only. This content should not be taken as medical advice. Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. This is Earwax Removal Log number 130. In today's episode, we're going to look at a patient who has an absolute mess in their ear. They're a reported Q-tipper. That's what brought them in today. They said they put a Q-tip in their ear this morning, all of a sudden lost all the hearing. Now, as we look at this wax, we can see that it is so far down the ear canal that it was clearly pushed back. Little anatomy lesson here. Basically, the outer one third of the ear canal, essentially where that hair stops, that's where wax should be. Anytime we see wax way below that or deeper down the ear canal, I know that you've used something to push that wax in. It's not always a Q-tip, but that's the usual culprit. In this patient's case, they've been using Q-tips for so long that this wax that's down there deep in the ear canal is not only down there, but is also dried and impacted to the side of the ear canal wall. So we're actually gonna have to use the curette to pull this wax out physically. You'll see that it breaks up and comes out in many different pieces. We did talk to this patient about being referred out for microsuction. They declined. They've had microsuction in the past, approximately a year and a half before this appointment. They decided that they didn't want to go that route again because they felt that the noise gave them a headache and they just didn't find it comfortable. Again, that's up to you as a patient, whether you want to go through microsuction, irrigation, or the manual tools. They're all very appropriate ways to remove earwax, especially when done carefully and by someone who knows what they're doing. You can see a large chunk of wax here in the middle of the ear canal. We've now pulled that off the ear canal wall. We'll get that out. As we look back in, you can see the eardrum, but on both the right and the left, you can see this wax that's just impacted. I'm gonna pull it off the ear canal wall. I'm moving the curette very slowly because we don't wanna cause any pain or discomfort for the patient, but we do wanna put a constant pressure on that wax to get it to release and remove, hopefully staying in one chunk. If you like these wax removal videos, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm and helps to keep me focused on getting this educational and entertainment content out for you. Like the disclaimer says in the beginning, this is not medical advice. Okay, now we've got a pretty good view of the eardrum, but we still have some at about the one o'clock position in the ear canal. So let's see if we can't get that out of the ear. And I'm gonna even show you what's come out of this patient's ear so far. You can see it just breaking up into these large chunks. Okay, we're almost there, it's almost done. So we're gonna go back in one more time with the curette, hopefully one more time and just get this all out. Let me know in the comment section below if you like these shorter videos or if you wanna see more of the long form videos. Unfortunately, as people watch these videos, they tend to watch about the first two minutes. This is what came out of the patient's ear, by the way. So they tend to watch about the first two, two to two and a half minutes, and then they abandon the video. So making the videos five, seven minutes long doesn't really do anything besides give you more commercials that you have to watch. All right, now back on the other side, we can see that this earwax, again, this side is not nearly as impacted to the side of the ear canal wall but it's definitely down deeper than where we want to see the wax. So we're gonna use the curette to gently remove this wax and help this patient avoid a buildup on this side in the near future. Got a good chunk out there. We have a good view of the eardrum. There's a little bit of wax down right by the eardrum, but the patient reports no oral fullness or pressure. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.